A quest tour is when retailers get together and this time we went to London, we went to the Stratford Centre, um, the new shopping mall and we get got taken on a tour of the jewellers and the other retailers there that were really forward thinking, um, very contemporary um, and it was excellent, it was a really good insight into um, merchandising really and how it's done on a big scale. Uh, on, in flagship stores. And the next day we were taken by somebody else, um, some real retail um, visionaries, um, to Covent Garden where they took us around lots of independent stores, uh, but not even in jewellery, not in our sector, but lots of other sectors. Um, and then they showed us really best practice and how it's done, uh, merchandising, how these people told their story, how they got their brand across, and it was excellent. We learnt such a lot, we really did. It was really good bonding with a group of retailers that I hadn't really met before, so we got to know each other very well. The best memory would be, um, we went to Hotel Chocolat to their um, headquarters, their flagship store in Covent Garden. Um, and we all went there for lunch. Um, and they, they tell an amazing story. They're a family business that bring the cocoa bean from where it's grown all the way through. They have um, a cocoa plantation um, and they bring all these chocolate recipes back to the UK and then they tell the story about it. And it was just phenomenal. They cooked in front of us. It's a real theatre. Um, so it was, it was great, we got everything, the merchandising, the product, the staff were lovely, the way they told the story, um, and I think that's probably the store that I learnt the most from, um, plus it was chocolate, I mean, need I say any more. <laughs> the lessons that I took home with me is that we really don't tell our story at all. Um, I think we presume that our customers know that we're a family business um, and that we're 100 years old um, and we just take that for red that people know that and they don't, they really don't. They need to be told this. Um, they need to be told that we have two workshops on site, that we make our own jewellery. But I think so many times we just presume that people just know and they really, they need to be told and we need to romance that story and get that out there um, as part of our brand, um, you know, through lots of different media. Um, but I think there's a big presumption for a lot of independent jewellers particularly that your customers know you and they don't. Or even if they do, a lot of them would have forgotten and they need to be reminded. So telling the story I think was the thing that I took away um, from that quest tour and definitely we have put that into practice since we've got back. Training is a constant discussion amongst the board and there's a, a board meeting never goes by without us discussing the training needs of our retailers. It's the next big challenge for CMJ and part of my vision that is that within the next two years we will be able to offer a training service or training services to our independents and it will be the best training that is available.